All right, what's up guys? Um, today's gonna be day one of the off-road teardrop camper build. Um, I'm getting started building the trailer frame here. I'll show you what I got. So, got all the steel here to build the frame. I got two inch 120 wall tubing for the main frame and three inch for the top. The whole frame's gonna be constructed out of square tube. I've got some tires here. These are 33 inch tires, same size as my truck, and some Jeep wheels that I painted. I got these off of Facebook Marketplace for pretty cheap. Obviously, I only need two of them and then a spare, but uh, I've got a set of four. I um, got my evolution saw set up right here, ready to start cutting everything. I started out with this um, Harbor Freight one here. I used it on one project and then realized it was garbage. So I spent the money, got the nice evolution saw, which I should have done in the first place, but oh well. Um, so here's the basic design of what the trailer is going to look like. I haven't finished the drawing, but this is more or less what it's going to be. So I have a door on each side. I already have the doors. I got two from Vintage Technologies that have the opening windows and stuff like that. There's going to be like a cargo door here on both sides for storage. And then there's going to be one here on both sides. So this side will have like a, a fridge pull out. And then the other side is going to be um, all the electronic stuff. So this is the back. That's where the kitchen will be. There'll be a little sink and some cabinets and stuff. And on the back side, on the inside, there'll be a couple little cabinets too. Um, that's the whole skeleton, the frame with the skeleton. I'm going to do the actual frame of the box out of one inch square tube. This is mostly done. There's still some more little braces and stuff I need to add, but this is basically what it's going to look like. And then this is what I'm getting started on today. This is basically just all two inch tube with three inch tube for the tongue there. These outside pieces I'm not gonna add on quite yet because I'm waiting for the trailer axle and springs to show up so I can see exactly how high the wheel sits off the ground versus on the frame so that I can make this opening the right size and not have it too big or too small so I'm basically gonna do start with this whole inner part and the tongue and I'll just leave these pieces off until the axle shows up uh, I ordered a regular straight Dexter axle. Uh, that should be here maybe this week, but with all this coronavirus stuff going on right now, I'm not sure. But they said it should ship out in a couple days, so. Um, but those in the spring should show up. And then I just have a few more things to order for the frame, like the, the receiver on the front. I'm going to add a second receiver hitch on the back to add like a bike rack later and then I just gotta get all the wiring and stuff like that but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get started probably take some video while I'm welding the frame up and stuff but yeah <laughs> Alright, so I got all the pieces cut for the frame here. Got the two long end pieces, the three short stretches on the inside, and the two long ones. 
Uh, like I said in the first clip, I have pieces that are gonna come out here and go in, and then come out up here and go in. I have a space for the wheel, but I'm waiting for the axle and springs to show up so I can mount the wheel and see how much space I need right there. But next step, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna clean and bevel all the ends of these here and clean all of the rust and stuff off of this metal. I'm gonna get it all just tacked together loosely so it's all held together, at least the side pieces and these end pieces. And then I'm gonna try and get it elevated up on these jack stands I went and grabbed because, as you can probably see, well, maybe not see, this floor is far from there's, there's a huge bow right here. There's a huge bump, so this everything's bowed. So I'm gonna use those jacks to try and level it out, get it elevated so it's a little more comfortable to weld. I only have two jacks though, so I think the front's gonna have to go on a bucket or something. But, uh, yeah, once they get that level, then I'll get these three inner pieces in, and then I will get everything welded up nice and square and level and everything like that, so, uh, stay tuned. day two I'm out here got my coffee yesterday after my last update I spent a good amount of time getting this thing all leveled out here got two jacks here two Home Depot buckets over there took a while to get it level I ended up I tacked all these ends a little too well so there wasn't much flex as far as getting it leveled out, but ground off a couple of attacks and got it pretty level. Got it pretty much perfectly square. Now I'm going to get the, the three cross braces tacked in in the middle while everything is where it's supposed to be. Then I'll, after I get those tacked in, I'll double check that it's all square and level, and then I will get everything welded in all the way. Then I'll flip it over and weld the other side. Alright, I've got this one and this middle one tacked in. This back one's not tacked in yet, but I think I might leave it off for now until I know where this wheel well area is going to be. Because with the wheel well, there's going to be a piece coming off right here for the fender, and then another piece going back. And until I know how big this space is going to be and where this piece is going to be, I'm probably going to leave this off that way. 
when I figure this out, I can have this in line with this. Even though you won't really see it because it'll be under everything, it'll just it'll look more symmetrical. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna double check everything is still square and level. And then I will tack these in some more and then weld everything up fully. And then I will probably flip the trailer over somehow, weld the other side, and then work on the tongue. Alright, I got all the flat joints welded up on both sides. I welded all the flat joints, I flipped the trailer over, welded the other side. Now I'm going to weld all of these joints and the reason I have it tipped up on its side like this is because I suck at welding vertical and if these were just like some table legs or something that didn't have to be super structurally sound I would have just done it vertical and it would have looked like crap but because this is a trailer and I want the welds to actually be nice and strong I just figured I'd tilt it up and weld it like this because then I know I can weld it pretty good so I'm gonna do that next All right, I got everything welded up. Got it back on the jack stands here. All leveled out and everything. Uh, like I said, I left this piece out. I'm gonna add that later when I get the um, springs and stuff in the right spot and know how much space I need. Um, I'm gonna probably stop for today and get back to it in the morning. But starting tomorrow, I'm gonna work on the um, tongue here. I originally in my drawing had it sticking out like four feet but that box that's going to be here is going to be like two feet wide so having two feet there is definitely not enough so I'll probably have it stick out about five feet or so. I'll have to figure that out but yeah that's where we're at. This will probably, I'll probably end the video here and start a new one in the morning. <laughs>